On this week's episode of I Didn't Know It Came in GE event, we have a Hunter Embassy. A 42-inch Hunter Embassy. Yes, believe it or not, Hunter did make a fan with GE events. Mm-hmm. A little dirty. But otherwise, it's okay. Bearings are a little on the loud side. They'll have to be replaced. So yes, this is, again, G Event, and Hunter made it. The Embassy was sold exclusively at Walmart in the late 80s, maybe early 90s. Which is interesting because Walmarts didn't exactly exist in my area until, say, 1997. So they had to have gotten these somewhere else and, you know, put them up. So, yes, this fan is based on the 42-inch Summer Breeze. It's derived from that, as is the custom home. All the same. So this one has a 172 by 12 motor in it. I think the pitch is about 12 degrees. I haven't yet measured it, but I think it's 12 degrees. It could be 10.5, but it seems a little steeper than that. So, <clears throat> but yeah, 172 by 12, not a 153 by 10, as you would expect from, from something, say, like a fecal breeze. You know, those things have 153 by 10s. In fact, all the low profiles have 153 by 12s, at least the newer ones do, so... But yeah, this thing is reasonably well-powered. Dates to 1988, second quarter of 1988. So, yeah, it is, they have... They're walnut blades, not reversible, they're just walnut. You know, paper bullshit veneer Walmart, er, not Walmart, walnut. Nice Freudian slip, but... Yeah, so, <clears throat> anyway, let's see how this thing performs. The pole chain actually has a little more resistance than I would expect. Just a little more. It's got that typical Hunter hum, typical of CEI products. The low speed is, yeah, as you would expect, slightly faster than that of, say, a comfort, or not a comfort, a coastal breeze. And to get close, you can hear the clunkiness in the bearings. This thing is utterly filthy. came out of a friend's house. She decided, because she's a basic white girl, that she would replace all the fans in her house with modern crap. So, one of the parts of the deal was, I get the old fans, so... Yeah... But... Let's go to medium. Man, those bearings are loud. They're not stiff. They're just loud and clunky. They're clearly well-worn. Let's get a high. 
The high speed's actually pretty decent for it. So what's interesting is many hunters, the 42 inch sort from the 2000s, whether they were sold at Home Depot, Lowe's, or out of the cat main catalog, right? All, it seems like almost all the 42 inch fans, like the, what you would call it, the Brighton, the Coastal Breeze Plus, the Beacon Hill, they all had 172 by 12s in them. Like they were pretty well powered. Which was good. And those bearings are ridiculously loud, but at least they're not hissing. There is paint on the edge of one of the blades, which can give you an idea as to what kind of RPM we're looking at. I think it's around 240. Maybe 250. But yeah, all around decent performer. For a late 80s import hunter. So this fan should clean up pretty nice. It looks like it's just like spackle dust and such. Give it a good cleaning. It should kick them out nice. Because the thing with bullshit brass is it tends to get kind of gnarly and it's hard to bring back because what it is really is just a yellow lacquer clear coat over polished nickel. So, yeah, it doesn't always come back very well. And there you have it, a seldom seen 42 inch Hunter Embassy GE vent.